wave his right hand as he spoke in a low calm voice. His intensity silenced the room while his body moved back and forth. The subject started to stare. The room became electrified. Then the fella fell into a trance. Ezra was a healer. That he could kill them all. Animal magnetism radiating from his arms. French King Louis the Sixteenth gave the best minds in the land to evaluate Messrs. claims. From the energy coming from his hand, then Franklin joined the parade to carry out his Majesty's plan. But it's coming that Franz Mesmer's life was destroyed. The Academy of Science investigated animal magnetism as practiced by the Eslam. The Eslam was Mesmer's archenemy, and it was all set up. The commission conducted a series of experiments aimed not at determining whether the treatment worked, but whether he discovered a new and fluid. They concluded that there was no evidence for such a fluid. Whatever benefits the treatment produced was attributed to imagination. The Royal Academy considered Mesmer a charlatan, all because of their poor understanding of the procedure. Mesmer was indignant because the commissioners had not come to him with their inquiries, but instead had gone to his nemesis, who of course did not understand Mesmer's proper procedures. Friends came down so hot on Mesmer that he became a laughing stock to the public, and as a result, left France in disgrace. He moved to Switzerland, where he quietly lived for the remainder of his life. What he did not understand at the time was that he was unwittingly hypnotizing his patient. By the way, did you know that still to this day, the medical establishment cannot explain hypnosis?